Hi everyone and welcome to a new video and in today's video I'm going to be doing some mixed metals using these absolutely beautiful hollow hearts from Nail Sugar. I'm using some gold pigment powder from Be Creative and I've also got some silver. So let's get started. Um, starting off I'm just going to apply two coats of the white to all of the nails and when that's done I'm just going to go in with a matte top coat and because we're going to be putting stuff on top it's always best to use a matte so the first one we're going to do is the spider gel <laughs> so anyone who's used this will know it's not it's not the easiest and it is a bit messy but you know with a bit of perseverance you'll uh, you get there in the end I always feel like a toddler when I'm using this because honestly, uh, you only get to see little bits between each nail. I, I have to clean. I have to clean myself up, and the area is just everywhere. Look, it's like, it's like glue, isn't it? It's uh, but I do I do love the finished result, so that that's why I like using it. So I'll just um I'll just carry on with that, and then once that's done, I'll cure it. And now I'm going in with these gorgeous powders. So, as I say, the look I'm going for is mixed metal. So, I don't want it looking too gold or too silver. But this is one of my favourite colour combinations. Gold, silver and white. I think they, they just, I don't know, I think they just look really elegant. Yeah, I love these ones. So, if you have trouble, you know, working with the um, the, the foil um gel paints and things and you know foiling over it this this is a really good way you know an alternative because once you put those pigments on they're absolutely beautiful so i finished top coating that one cured it and now i'm going on to the next design so again i'll be applying two coats of this white followed by a matte top coat and now i'm just going to do an ombre on this one so I'm going to start with the gold at the bottom. So the idea is, you can see I'm really rubbing in there. I want the colour quite intense at the bottom. And now I'm going to add the silver in because this gold, it's really pigmented. And if I put too much on, you, it, it's just going to cover the whole nail. So yeah, that, that's the look really. I just want that gold, you know, to shimmer at the bottom. And as it moves, you can, you know, you can see it running up the nail a little. And again, I'm going in with the spider gel. So the, this this one there uh, turned out a little bit better than the other one. It felt a little bit easier to wear with. But what I've done, I've got a little blank business card. And I've stuck the pot on there because the trouble I was finding, because it's so sticky, then as you're trying to work it, the pot kept you know lifting up off the table so yeah if you have the same problem just stick the pot down with a little sticky dot yeah i just found it just gave me a little bit more control you know working with it so now i'm just going in with some top coat so with this one um i'm, I'm obviously i'm not going to chrome that i'm going to leave that white and it'll blend in with you know this design and now I'm going to add some of those beautiful hollow hearts. And I'm just using the Totalis uh, Gem Glue for this. So and I'm going to do a mix on this one of the... Um, I'm going to do both silver and gold. It's, ha it's hard to remember. These might just be all gold. We'll see. Yeah, I think I'm just using all gold on this one. Um, I think it's the next one I use the silver on. So I'll um I'll carry on with them, and um, I don't I don't really need to top coat these or anything. But if you know if it was a client, I probably would because although they're not sharp, they they are raised a little. So yeah, if you're doing them on a client, just um you know put a layer of top, and if you wanted, you could do a layer of base first and then a layer of top coat. So we're moving on to the ombre one. And on this one, I'm just going to add the silver hollows. And these gorgeous little hearts are part of the um, the new collection that uh, the lovely Karen Heidi Reese has just added to the Nail Sugar goodies. So you can go check them out. Um, 
I, lo I love this mix because obviously I love the mixed metal, but the different sizes as well. So they're, they're really versatile, you know, for any nail art that you want to do. Um, and I do use different sizes in this set. So th this is a really simple design. I think, you know, it'll be quite, you know, quite easy to do. And, you know, even if you're not that good with the spider gels, it doesn't matter. You could just put a few, you know, fine lines on it or something. It doesn't have, you know, have to be that. So now we're going on to the third design. And on this one, I'm just taking it up the nail, but, you know, over to one side and Again, I want a few little lines of it, but you can see how cloggy it gets. So, yeah, it is, it is, uh, <laughs> it is awkward, but, you know, just persevere. Now, I've turned it over there to get to the top. I know you can't do that on a client, so it is going to be a little bit trickier. But all you do, you just get to the top of the nail, actually touch it, you know, make contact then bring it back down so you know that's something you just have to play with if you were doing this on clients and i'm going to cure this in the lamp and then again i'm going in with the uh, gold and silver pigments and i'm just going to rub that in yeah just burnish it off a bit then you just dust the excess off like that and then I'll go in with a layer of top coat. Oh no, I'm just, uh, I've seen a few little really fine lines there. So I thought, well, I'll just get a little bit of uh, the pigment on them. So now I'm going in with the top coat. So pra practically the same design as the other two, but, you know, we're just going straight down the nail. And here I'm using the different size heart. So, and I'm using a mix of the colours. So I've just got the large silver, then I'm going to go in with the two smaller ones of the gold. And then I think I put a smaller little silver one each side. It's, it's hard to remember because I recorded this over a week ago now. So bear with me. Yeah, we do. <laughs> and once they're in place and I'm happy with where they are, I've cured them. And now... I just want them to look a little bit 3D, not not too much. So all I'm doing here is I'm going in with a layer of base coat on each heart. So now sometimes you're going to have to cure in between because they're on the top of the metal. Um, they were, It was moving quite a bit. So I just gave a little flash cure, you know, in between each one. And now I'm going to go in with the top coat to finish it. And as you can see, that just gives a really nice 3D effect. And look at the hollow through there. The colours are just absolutely beautiful. And now on to the final design. So again, I'm going to put two coats of the white on. I'm going to give it a 30 second cure. And see, because with the pigments, we need that tacky layer, you know, the sticky layer. So now I'm going in with the gold pigment again. And on the top bit, I'm going in with the silver. So there you go. Nice, quick, easy ombre. Th th this must be one of the easiest ombres to do, honestly. It's so quick and easy. And um, that, That's the prison powder I used, but... Um, we don't have that anymore at Nail Sugar, so I don't know if Karen's going to get any back in Alaska, but you can use any silver powder. I really love the effect that that gives as well. It's gorgeous. So I've top coated it, cured it, and now I'm going to come in with the spider gel. So the reason I top coat and cure is, is that if I mess up with this spider gel, <laughs> which, you know, quite often I do, uh, it's not, you know, you don't have to worry because I can just wipe it off and start again without losing all that lovely ombre. And for this one, I'm just, as you can see, I'm just going across the nail one way on a little diagonal, then up the other way. So, I, and I don't, I don't want them to match because in that sort of central point, uh, I'm just going to put one of the nice hearts in there. And I want a nice big one for there. So just pop it in place. 
and I'm just going to put two of the little ones on those uh, outside edges so and that's all I want on that one so I'm just going to go over with some top coat and you can see as the light hitting that the colours that are coming through that centre heart are just absolutely lovely and the, the camera doesn't really pick it up that good but honestly it's so nice and sorry I've gone a little bit out of shot but I'm doing the same there I'm just going over that centre heart and just giving it that little 3D effect so yeah um I, I do I do like uh, the 3D effect I must admit I think it's uh, I don't know it just makes it pop I think out the nail so again I've gone in with the base and then I'll go over again with the top coat just to finish it off and I, I tend to use the base because I feel like it's a little bit of a thicker consistency so it just gives that little bit more height but without being too bulky and now that's completed I'll just pop that into the lamp to cure and that's the set complete so I really hope you've enjoyed this video I've loved doing this one I, lo I love trying uh, new stuff especially when Karen gets lots of gorgeous goodies in so yeah if you could i'd love it if you could like comment subscribe share that would be amazing so there's the finished set really hope you like them so you all stay safe stay positive and all take care of yourselves and i'll see you in the next video bye